Hey guys, I'm at my uh, my mother-in-law's house, and um, her husband uh, would have been my father-in-law. I've actually never met him. I've uh, been with my wife 23 years, something like that, and he passed away about 25 years ago. But he was a bit of a, uh, a handyman, a little bit of everything that he was into. And um, there's just stuff in the basement. And um, I've been looking for a lathe. I don't know, I should make it just a long story short. Um, she wants me to... I wanted to buy the lathe off of her. She just kind of wanted to give it to me. And uh, I figured I'd take it for a little walk downstairs. You can kind of see how everything's just all covered up and whatnot. It's been this way. It's been here forever. And I already walked over, pulled the cover off. But um, this is what's kind of coming home with me. It's an old uh, Dalton lathe. I don't know what you can see on it. But uh, definitely got a lot of age to it. More of like a, a mini lathe, but that's what I'm looking for. I just need to be uh, be able to have the capacity to turn things down. And it's probably still set up from the last time he's ever used it. I see a three jaw chuck. Um, and then got all this tooling up here, it looks like. All the different chucks for it. I think I just unlock everything down. So there's quite a bit here. Too bad there's not a book with it. But um, that's a nice compact little unit and a good one. I kept looking at those Harbor Freight, those Harbor Freight ones there. Um, I don't think what the name of them on there. They're kind of like a three in one, but uh, everybody says that they're a real piece of crap. So this one looks different, uh, pretty good. I'd say it's only got four inches between, four inch swing, so it would be an eight inch. And between centers, uh, I'm gonna say it's 16 maybe. You crank that all the way back, you probably add about 16. I'm not sure if it's, Got the hole through it. Can you see it? I think so. So it'll be good for smaller stock. And I'm not sure what it's got for gears and motors and, and change ups and all. But it's going to be an education, that's for sure. So I got to be able to take that thing apart. Probably could split it in two. Take the motor as one assembly and then the, the mill as a regular. And we gotta go out a bulkhead door down here, which is all closed up at the moment. So well, that's our way out. So, so I'm very appreciative to have this, and I figured it might as well be uh, someone in the family who uses it instead of sells it or whatever happens to it, you know. And uh, we'll make some inventions out of it. How's that sound? So we'll carry on the the legacy of it. Looks like a really nice unit for its size. That's when something was made, huh? Our brake band built right, right there. So maybe I'll click you back on if I uh, do a little bit more exploring down here. There's a whole room in behind me here, which is like the uh, logical room. Just got that locked out. Maybe we'll peek in there. Keep out. This means you. And someone's name down there scratched out. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.